First off, Fox Business decided there was a spot for one British moderator and they didn't pick me. Bullshit. They instead chose Stuart Varney, who immediately f***ed up the Univision woman's name. I'm Stuart Varney of Fox Business, and I am thrilled to be sitting alongside my co-moderators, Fox News Channel Dana Perino and Ilya Calderon, Cal uh, 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 Univision. I mean, how hard is it to say Ilya Calderon? And honestly, Univision's Calderon deserves her own low light. First off, because this is what we do to pander to Hispanic voters, apparently, all debates must now include a round of Spanish while everyone else just sits there smiling and pretending it's okay. Please allow me to welcome our Spanish-speaking audience. Muy buenas noches a todos. Desde la Biblioteca Presidencial Ronald Reagan, los precandidatos republicanos también buscan su voto para las primarias del partido. Bienvenidos. And good evening. And then she launched straight into a round of questions that were right out of the Democratic Party propaganda book. There's this question to Ron DeSantis, which is quite literally a Kamala Harris talking point. Florida's new black history curriculum says, quote, slaves develop skills which in some instances could be applied for their personal benefit. You have said slaves develop skills in spite of slavery, not because of it. But many are still hurt. For the sentence of slaves, this is personal. What is your message to them? And in fairness to DeSantis, he refused to take the bait. So first of all, that's a hoax that was perpetrated by Kamala Harris. Uh, we are not going to be doing that. Second of all, that was written by descendants of slaves. These are great black history scholars, so we need to stop playing these games. Then there's the honestly ridiculous claim that gun violence is a uniquely American problem from a Colombian citizen. Governor Bergham, for the first time ever, a Univision poll found that mass shootings and gun safety are one of the most important issues for Latino voters. Mental health concerns are not unique to the United States, but gun violence is. Next, she's going to be telling us that the United States has a coke problem. And then Cauldron tried to force Mike Pence to accept her premise about LGBTQ people. The Department of Homeland Security warns that violence against LGBTQ plus people is on the rise and intensifying. According to a recent study, members of that community are nine times more likely to be victims of violent hate crimes. As president, how would you protect this community from violent attacks and discrimination? Why was she asking Mike Pence? Well, because he's the Christian one, and Democrats all know that Christians are apparently massive homophobic bigots or something. I would love it if other groups that are statistically way more likely to be attacked were ever spoken about this way, like Jews maybe. But I'm not going to hold my breath. I don't think there's enough votes up for grabs. Now, I do think it's fine that other moderators are asked to host debates, but not when they hijack the event to push Democratic Party propaganda. You think MSNBC is falling over themselves to invite Mark Levin or Sean Hannity or Tucker Carlson to moderate one of their debates? No, because the DNC isn't dumb. But the reason Ilya Cauldron was included was because it's quite clear that the Republican Party is all in on identity politics, even though we're supposed to think it's dumb and pointless and racist, which it is. 